Congress. It was never intended to operate in this manner. Unaccountable bureaucrats who care more about optics than narratives simply restores accountability to this operational organization. It's time to shine light on its activities. My district in northern Indiana, I want to emphasize a few of the major problems using your stories today. Something? Um, I, I'm not sure. You work here at this office? Oh, no. I just asked you, do you work here at this office? If you don't, then obviously you can't help me. So that's why I'm asking. I mean... It's hard for me to tell. There we go. All right. So they have locked it. So I have been going on with this video for almost five minutes now. Obviously there are people in there and they have chosen to not answer the door. Okay. Um, this is Jackie Morlorski's office, the second district. How's it going? Name and badge number please. What would you like that for? Name and badge number, please. What would you like I don't answer for? questions. Name and badge number, please. see his car oh there we go car number 8255 car number 8255 Mishawaka Police Department Amazing, they let you guys in, but they won't let a constituent in. <clears throat> it's annoying to see even uneven decisions. Current exclusion process is opaque, unfair, and inconsistent. We're saying that the deck seems to be stacked toward one side right now, and it needs to be rebalanced. There's some activity going on in that room over there and 
I don't want no surprises, so. Oh uh, yeah, I was trying to get a hold of somebody on the buzzer and nobody would answer. Okay. Um, See, I was, I'm, I'm a constituent and I have some questions and no one will talk to me. Okay. Some lady was out here and she asked if she could help me and I asked her if she just, you know, I asked her if she worked here and she wouldn't tell me if she did or not. So I was like, well, if you, if you don't work here, then obviously you can't help me. So I was just wanting to know if she worked here I was because, you know, I need help from somebody. And nobody will talk to me except for you. I mean, you've been the only one nice enough to talk to me. <laughs> okay, well, if you don't have an appointment, I would suggest calling their office and making an appointment. Do you have a card with a number on it? Pardon me? Do you have a card with a number? That way I can call and make I an appointment? but you can look it up online. If you don't have an appointment, you'll need to come back another time when you do. Does it, where does it say I need an appointment, though? Sir, we own the building, and my boss is out of the country right now, so if you don't have any business here, you need to step out. Because you're, you're on private property. Uh, th actually, you know what, we've been there, done that before, and because it's a public office with inside the property, it's not, it's not private property anymore, ma'am. I'm here, I'm here for the congressional office. This building, sir, and he's not here right now, so it's I'm going to have to ask you to leave if you don't have any business. Okay, well, they can trespass me and I'll fight it because I'm not leaving. This is a congressional office, it's a public building because there's a congressional office here. I'm here to see my congresswoman. Uh, if you're going to initiate with me, I'd please, I'd please ask for your name and badge number. Sure. If you're not going to engage with me, then you don't have to give it. Okay. okay? Um, but I, you can try to trespass me. You can put me in cuffs, take me to jail. I'll bond out. I'll fight the charge. I don't care. I'll win. She cannot trespass me. There, it's a public office being rented within a private building. It's already been established in many, many courts across the country that I can reasonably be here because, and so long as I'm not causing a disturbance. And I'm not causing a disturbance. I'm standing here filming since they refuse to help me. It's unfair. Americans deserve to know. All right, guys, I'm going to be right back. I just switch over the video quality. To you. Oh, thank you. The Appreciate only thing it. is, no video in there, and you've got to take your mask off. And if that doesn't, they didn't, they didn't ask me to take my uh, mask off. I had it on because, well, yeah, well, I just yeah, had it on because I just came from the outside. Okay. I trying well, to they're asking you to take okay. it off, so you take your mask off, and you can't videotape in there. Okay. And they will talk to you. Well, then I'd ask for them to come out here because it's a public office. I could come into the lobby, you, the police you, station, and do it. You, I can you, do it in there. You asked. You asked for a meeting with them. This is what they're going to meet with you with. So, I mean, if that's what you want, they're not going to come out here. He'll come out. You can go in there and talk to him. Huh. That's what you've asked for. Huh. But they've asking that you not videotape and that you pull your mask down when you go in. Huh. So, is that what you want to do? Uh, I can't stop video recording, though, because, I, I mean, it's for the public interest. Okay. So. Well, then they're not going to meet with you. He says that. Uh, I can call and schedule an appointment. Okay. Then. That's fine. That, that's what Thank we'll you all very much. I appreciate, for, I appreciate you getting the card for me. And they're asking you to leave, okay? Okay. Well, they can ask. I appreciate it. He, he won't stop videotaping because he don't want to videotape. Uh, 
This is basic due process. It becomes a very expensive he said, she said moment. Fourth contact just came, so they're, so they're going to be putting hands on you soon. So stay by the fucking door so I can film the motherfucker. All right. Today is February 1st, 2019. Approximately, I don't know, two, 1, 2 p.m., something like that. They're in there huddling to see what they can trump up on me. I wanted to get your name and get it earlier.
I do not. Go over here to film the stuff. Probably gonna go back inside.
on our public sidewalk. Everything good, sir? Is everything good? All right, y'all have a great day. Thank you all for coming out and sorting things out. With all these issues, it would be the height of irresponsibility by this Congress to give more money without making changes. I'm urged to bring true transparency, fairness, and, and consistency to the process by issuing a final rule that fixes these as soon as possible. This is the kind of representation they deserve in Congress. 